Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on Two Ordinary Guys. Hope you guys are well. So as you probably guys know, I've been away for about two months now and A, it's been very weird because I'm kind of used to recording videos probably every couple of days, uh, editing them in my free time to then having quite a lot of free time. Kind of wanted to record a video on why I've been away and kind of the things I've been up to. Believe me, it's been very, very busy. Um, and you can probably see behind me it's been busy so I just kind of wanted to sit down talk to you guys about what's going on what I've been doing and kind of what you guys can expect from me now going forward when I start nursing which is in a month time so that's really exciting but let's get into the video before we jump in though, make sure you do like and subscribe down below. We are super close to 3,000 subscribers here on this channel, which is crazy. I probably, you know, realistically won't be able to get that before I start nursing in September, but it would be amazing if I could. So if you are watching this and aren't subscribed, please, 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 could you subscribe? It honestly means a hell of a lot to not only me and Jacob, but you know, to this channel in general. And it kind of just shows that the content that we're creating you guys enjoy. Also, if this video can get 40 likes, that would be amazing. Okay, so yes, I'm back now and kind of aspiring to record a video every week like I normally would. Haven't really got down to sorting out the schedule for when I do start in September regarding YouTube and kind of the schedule that I want to stick with, but by September I'll kind of, you know, know by then. And what you guys can expect really when I do start is you know, more than what you see when I did paramedic science, documenting more, talking more about the course, taking you, you know, behind the scenes, going to lectures, um, talking about, you know, the work that I've been doing and kind of giving you a real insight to nursing and kind of giving you a reason why you should join nursing, but also giving you a valid opinion and weighing up the pros and cons for you so you can see firsthand whether nursing would be right for you. I know I personally feel as though nursing would be right for me, but maybe it might not be right for you. So you can kind of get that and expect that from my channel in September. I'm also very, very, very aware that people are starting in September, the same as I am, going into first year. So I wanted to kind of give a list of re resources and things that will be useful for you guys um, for when you do start in September. I wanted to kind of do a list or something that would be really useful for you guys to have or follow by when you do start in September. So I put I put together some books that I felt was really useful um, for paramedic science and also I'm taking along with me to nursing and I'm going to leave them in the description in this video. So if you click on the description you kind of scroll down and you'll see a list of books I've been using for Amazon. I kind of brought them from Amazon and if you click and buy through that link I'll get like a little commission. They are the books I've been using, they're literally over there, but I've just I've left in the li link in there so I get a little bit of commission, you know, no biggie and the price will be the exact same for you guys so that would really help if you guys do that. That isn't the reason why I put together this list though. I feel it's very useful for people to kind of know what to bring to university. These like will include the JR Calc for paramedic science. It is literally the bible for paramedic science so I'd really recommend that. But I've also put together some books that aren't academic, so good reads. So I literally read um, the end with the end in mind. It's basically a book written by a consultant who specialises in palliative care, and honestly, it's one of the best books I've ever I've ever read. Read? I've ever read. <laughs> so I've left that down below. Same as the books. If you go through that link, I'll get a small, small commission. I do always want to say that because. Like I say in the videos, I want to be as transparent as possible. So if you go through the link, I get, you know, like 5% of whatever you, you know, whatever you buy from there. So it's not a lot, but it helps massively for the channel and it enables me to buy better things for the channel, kind of invest more into the channel, if that makes sense. So that'd be really good. I also wanted to, like I mentioned, be as transparent with you guys as possible and kind of talk about the when I first decided to transfer and make that decision and elaborate on how you know difficult it is, how lonely it was when I first you know decided to change, I was in this dark moment where I didn't want to talk about what I wanted to do. I felt because I was documenting my journey on YouTube, it's you know, really, really silly, but 
I wanted to kind of portray myself as this person where, you know, everything was going really, really well for me and I had everything, you know, the world on my shoulders when, in actual fact, I wasn't enjoying the course and I needed to be honest with people and I sat down like on that video and I spoke about it and I really want to say if you're watching this video and you're not enjoying the course or you're, you feel as though you have to do something because maybe your parents want you to do it or you're just pressured into doing a course, whatever reasons, there's many reasons why you, you know, you're not happy on a course, but speak up and if you if you haven't speak up you know, or you want to message me in privately then please 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 do that, I will leave my Instagram you know, kind of down below. Um, and it will help but honestly I've never felt better now I feel as though I can look forward and kind of see my future more brighter now rather than pushing through and kind of not being happy with the course and it's really really important you're spending your nine thousand pounds at university for a reason you want to be happy so speak up and you know act upon it this is your future and that's kind of I hope this video will enable you to kind of look look for your future rather than you know just settling for second best you should be settling for first place the first two weeks of when i did kind of have a break i wanted to have two weeks away from youtube in a fact where i kind of just have a break from youtube whether that's you know just not uploading not doing any editing and kind of just focusing on maybe me and lucy you know having, having time for me and lucy where we was, we was going to plan on going away and just doing just kind of doing us really because Behind the scenes, YouTube does take a lot of time, you know, editing wise. That's why I do mention at the start of the video about that, you know, that small commission because you don't get paid a lot from doing YouTube and that's kind of not the reason why I do it. Why I do YouTube is to inspire people to follow their dreams and like I said just before that about don't settle for second best. That's kind of what this YouTube channel is all about. I'm documenting my journey and I'm not doing it for uh, money but obviously if you can have a small small amount of money while you're doing this to help with I'm obviously studying for at university so a small amount of money as a student wouldn't go amiss basically so I took two weeks away where me and Lucy had some time alone and then I was going to come back and vlog the holiday that me and Lucy was going on we were supposed to go to Seville but obviously the coronavirus happened so we actually didn't end up going away. We went to Yorkshire, so we didn't end up going abroad. Obviously, it wasn't really safe to do so. So we booked an Airbnb in Yorkshire. I was supposed to vlog the entire time, but I felt as though because of the situation going on and the pandemic, I didn't feel I was able to vlog as I normally would because this wasn't a very nice time for, for the world. And it was a very different holiday and I kind of wanted to just be in the moment with everyone there in Yorkshire and spend some really quality time with me, Lucy and her family because it's, it's been overdue and it's been overdue and it's been overdue and kind of we needed that as a as a family really so I didn't vlog then so then that was a month then it was a month till I recorded the video and it kind of built up to this like big thing because I haven't uploaded a video for a month and it's kind of like I need to record a video now because Obviously, you guys will be wondering where, I, where I've gone. So I planned to record a video when I got back, um, but we needed to move Lucy out of university because her tenancy agreement actually was coming to an end. So that was kind of a big task as well. We moved Lucy out and she moved back into my place. That's where you can see you know, all of the stuff behind. Uh, so it's been very, very busy. That took a couple of days and, and a weekend really. And then I had a lot of things regarding um, university to do. So I had to hand in my um, DBS. So they sent me an email online of kind of what I needed to complete. So it was a DBS, occupational health. So I had to send over my immunizations to them, kind of like, you know, like rubella and um, when I had chicken pox and stuff like that. And just send over when I had my vaccines. And um, that was kind of straightforward. You just have to contact your GP and sort of say can have my immunization re uh, report and then just send it to uh, occupational health that was kind of straightforward i still need to do my um uh, dbs i need to actually go to the post office it's a bizarre um way of doing it i normally do it all online but basically it must be a new thing now because i've never come across it but basically you take a form to the post office with your id so i think you need like a passport a driving license and uh, a bank statement and you say that to the post office and then they kind of verify that your your, your DBS is okay and they send it then to the organisation that, that does the DBS and then 
obviously hopefully then I'll be cleared I'm, I mean I hope I haven't committed any crime so uh, hopefully then that'll go back to university and then I'll have to send and then obviously I'll be cleared then through, through university so I'll literally have nothing to do then which is really really good and really really looking forward to starting university in a month's time which is scary and crazy it's gone so 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 quickly so i'm really looking forward to you know starting back and having the the normality back of university and having the 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 structure and routine to my life and that's kind of what i like i hate having things where i don't know what's going on i like to have a to-do list at the start of the day so it's kind of through massively not having to do that and not not being in you know not learning because i've been in education for so so long and then to have like a year's gap was just I hope the list helps that I put together about the books and kind of if that helps. Or you don't have to go through the link. I just I just kind of say you know if you do go through the link, it would it would help me out a little bit. But it's not an ideal breaker. I just want those books to help you. And honestly, they helped me a lot and helping me a lot. The books I put together, you know, the five academic non-academic books are really good reads, and I'd really really recommend all of them. Especially like I said with the end in mind that was re it's a really really good book and honestly I did not put it down but I'm going to do a video more about kind of the books I read in my free time if that if you guys want that and um, because I have quite a few books that I recommend medical medical wise so you know sit down and do that for you when I have a bit you know a little bit of uh, free time but thank you guys for watching you know, I'm back now so I'm looking forward to starting nursing if you could subscribe to the channel that would be amazing and thank you guys for you know the continued support that you are giving me and Jacob. I really, really appreciate it. And good luck for starting in September if you do, or if you're starting back in September. Um, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.